Well, excited about how we played this weekend. It was really a mixture of a lot of different things. And when you look at today's game and Radford really came out and hit the ball well and they were up and I was so proud because the team didn't give up and we stayed, kept our composure and came back. Um, you were giving me the numbers where we've had, what, scored over 40 runs this weekend. So that was great. We had um, a couple games that were, you know, run ruled and uh, just really excited about that and got some people in there and given them all a chance and see where we're going to be. And we'll be solidifying that starting lineup and uh, just excited how Carly pitched as well. She really came in strong. Uh, yesterday, Baki pitched phenomenal, <laughs> looked really good. Excited about that. Unfortunately, she's under the weather, you know, today, but um, uh, Carly really stepped it up. Proud of her. Um, I, I guess, I guess, if you talk, talk about that, uh, that first game today, the, uh, you know, down six nothing, but really hitting the ball well, and then kind of broke out with seven runs in the third. Uh, talk about how that, how that switch just flipped. Well, the first game today of the doubleheader against Radford. It was like obvious that they were in sync. I mean, everything that they were hitting became a hit. I mean, once when someone hits a ball and it hits third base, like the bag itself, right, to get a hit, it's like, okay, things are going their way. And that's when as an athlete, you can start saying like, oh my gosh, like what's happening, right? What do we have to do? Like, it's kind of one of those things. But instead, what you have to do is what we did. And that was, okay. They're having their chances, and now we got to take our chances. So when we were down six, you know, zero six, uh, they were up by six runs, and we came up and got three. And next thing you know, we started moving forward, and we were able to run rule. And I think uh, the walk off, you know, with Roop, they intentionally walked, you know, Caroline Hudson because man, she had an amazing weekend. I mean, just ripping the ball, hitting over five hundred. Uh, I don't know how many home runs she had, Joe. What was it? Five home runs. Uh, 11 RBIs. Whoa. How do you win an athlete? Right. Um, just doing whatever she can for the team. And it's, it's really great when that ball was hit today, you could tell it just was, you just see it just disappearing into the darkness of the night, you know, just that thing was crushed. Um, but getting back to the first game, it was really great that when they intentionally walked Huddy to be, to make the bases loaded, that our number three batter, Rachel Roop gets up and hits a grand slam, walk-off grand slam. Uh, that's how to answer it. And that's when you we start getting on all four cylinders with this team, and you can see we're slowly getting there. It's, it's going to be a lot more fun. Um, and then uh, toward the bottom of the lineup, you had some production today from Spanish Water, KK, getting on base, ca causing a lot, of, a lot of havoc, several steals. Um, how exciting is it? is that to be able to set the table to turn it back over to those strong hitters at the top? Well, I've always said we have a lot of speed this year, you know, compared to the past. Um, and it's really exciting to see the production now starting. Savannah Woodard had an excellent game, um, was getting on base. You look at KK Madry. And then you also, I mean, MC, uh, when you look back at the game that really excited me, it was at the fourth inning of the game or yesterday. And, we were able to put, with a change-up pitcher, put a bunt down, MC gets on, and then uh, Megan Fortner gets up and puts a beautiful bunt down where the third baseman was back. And uh, they were able to, you know, produce the runs because of that. Big difference. And stealing today, we have a lot of speed, and there were a lot of stolen bases. When you look at the year so far, uh, I haven't pushed that envelope, and I wanted today and this weekend to see what we could do. And it was great to see them take advantage of the extra bases. They could, you know, steal, if you would. And uh, I guess I look forward. Uh, got a big opportunity on Tuesday, just a couple of days away uh, with uh, UVA. I talk about that uh, game and then leading into another tournament. Well, I'm really excited to see how we perform against the University of Virginia because we played them three times in the fall. And when you play 10, in, 10 innings, you know, for fall games, you really don't know what do we really have, right? Um, so I'm excited to see. I think that. We're moving forward. We've been seeing a lot of pitching, a lot of different pitching. We've seen the number one team in the country, the number two team in the country, the number four, seventh, 11th. You know, we've seen all of those. Uh, we've, you know, and then we're seeing the different uh, levels and competition. So I think we've seen an array of pitching, you know, uh, which is to our advantage when you think of it as a hitter to see all the diversity that we have in the circle. So it's going to be great. Virginia is strong and 
you know, we'll just go after them and hopefully prove that we're stronger. All right. Any last uh, thoughts, Coach? Well, my thoughts about this weekend was uh, the team really learned a lot. I think it's important that we stay together as a team, that everyone is so important. When you look at who was able to get in the games and who's been playing and the opportunities, a lot of times it's tough on a team because you're like, okay, who's the starting lineup? But we're still working that through. And once we get that solidified, you know, it's going to be a lot easier. But I can tell you that this team, I just pray you know, the Lord continues to keep, you know, his hand over us. And, uh, and the big thing is for everyone to know that they are so good. And it's such a compliment to be able to take anybody who's, you know, not starting and put them in, in and, and then be ready. Uh, so it's awesome to see. And, you know, with the injury from Reagan Barrett, we've had to change defensively. And I just want to say that I'm really proud of how the team is just taking on whatever roles they have to have because every role is important. God is so good and just so blessed and uh, just love the Lord.